Hi, in this video I'll show you how to put an image inside an ornament and this is a request from a subscriber. I'm going to show you the effect that we are trying to achieve. I did this uh, with the, this image with suitcases, you can see how this looks and the other one the image is a little bigger. In the smaller one I think the image it's more visible but here it kind of looks better. I'm going to do something in the middle this time. Now let's close this and uh, to do this we will need two images. The first one is uh, this one with the ornament and the second one is this image with the suitcases and this image is uh, bigger than the other so we need to scale it down. Grab the scale tool, make sure I'm on the right layer with the suitcases, click here, click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio and I'm going to type a number 550 pixels, click enter and then click scale. You're probably going to need to experiment with this, how much you need to scale down the image so it can fit in the ornament. Now with the move tool I'm going to grab this and position it over here. Next I'll go to filters, distorts and choose eye warp. The deform mode I'll change to grow. The deform radius I'm going to change to 160 and the deform amount I'm going to change to 0.08 very small deform amount and then I'm going to click here a couple of times and drag like this then I'm going to click OK next I'll add a layer mask to this layer right click choose add layer mask and just click add Next I'm going to select the option fill with foreground color from the edit menu and this will make the image disappear. I'm going to swap the foreground and background colors. Choose the brush tool. With this fuzzy brush I'm going to adjust the size to 500. Mouse over here and I'm going to click a couple of times. Next I'll go to the layer, layer to image size to get rid of the layer boundary and I'm also going to adjust the opacity of the layer to 70. Now I'm going to change the brush size to something smaller, for example 120 pixels and also the opacity of the brush to for example 30. One more thing, I need to reset the FG and BG colors by clicking on this option and then I'm going to start painting carefully and I think that we are pretty much done and we can experiment with the opacity until we think that the image looks good I think with less opacity it looks a little better and that's it for this video I hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video leave me a comment also visit my channel for more and that's it for now Bye.